Now we're going to walk the perimeter of the boat and point out all the through hull locations. At the bow, we have an anchor locker drain on both the port and starboard sides. Any water that accumulates in the anchor locker will drain through these two fittings. Moving aft on the port side, our next through hull will be the head sink drain. Any water from the head sink will drain through this fitting. Next, as we move aft on the port side, we have a cluster of four through hulls. The most forward one is the forward bilge pump discharge. Behind that is the discharge through hull for the sump system. Behind that one is the discharge for the raw water for the air conditioning system. And aft of that is the drain for the cooler box that's under the gunnel on the port side. Under the rub rail and just below the aft section of the half tower, we have the vent fittings for the water tank and the waste tank. These fittings allow those tanks to breathe. Moving aft and just in front of the dive door, we have two through hulls in the bootstripe. One's for the helm seat platform drain, and the other one's for the drain on the sink in the Riviera seat. At the aft end of the bootstripe on the port side, we have two th fittings. One is for the compartment that holds the shore power cord, the drain, and the other one's a bilge pump discharge. On the aft end of the bootstripe on the starboard side, we have a drain for the compartment that's on the stern quarter of the starboard side, a bilge pump discharge, and a discharge for the fish box macerator. On the hull side, just below the fuel fill, you'll find a fitting for the fuel tank vent. This allows the fuel tank to breathe. In the bootstripe, beneath the fuel vent, we have a water heater discharge and a boat accessories drain through hull. In the bootstripe forward, on the starboard side, we have a through hull for the sink drain in the galley. This allows water from the galley sink to drain over the side. 